Joined now by Tina Griffin, the counterculture mom. So you uh, wrote a really good, you're, you're, you're going to bring to our attention a really important article, a commentary from Glenn Beck. And I think that what Glenn Beck is now saying about the future of Christianity in this co- co- country, especially if Biden does prevail in the election, it, it was time to start paying attention, right? That's about it. I mean, we can no longer sit on the bench. In fact, I think so many millions of Americans are running off of the bench, but now they have no game plan. How do we get involved? Who do we call? Um, What rallies do we attend? If we attend a rally, what's going to happen as a result of our presence there? Do we have a plan of action? But regardless, we're in the 11th hour and 59th minute for saving the republic of our uh, country. Even this fly above me agrees. So um, it's urgent alert right now for all of us to get involved. Glenn Beck had an interview with Faithwire, uh, Dan Andros recently, and that's when he was urging all of his viewers, all of his listeners, and Faithwire was also in agreement that we are in the 11th hour of saving our country. And I really think it's regardless who's in the White House, but definitely we have a better chance of survival for a longer period of time if Trump is in the White House. I think no matter what happens, but especially if the, the left wins, Christians, the time of easy Christianity is over in America, and we are going to face some of the toughest times, um, I think, in all of Christianity in the in the next few years. And uh, prepare yourself for that and know uh, what you stand for and what you believe in. Well, one of the main points Glenn Beck was making, and I think this is the takeaway, that if we do, that Christianity is already entering a period of persecution, even under the the Trump administration, under uh, Joe Biden presidency, we're we're seeing, as Glenn Beck points out, the final days. I think he says of easy Christianity. I think a lot of Christians have taken uh, taken for granted for a long time that we were the comfortable majority, that we felt that our rights were guaranteed under the First Amendment, that we would always have religious liberty. And I think we're finding out, waking up to a a world of radical, aggressive, secular, atheist, progressive um, um, activism here that really is targeting Christianity first and foremost above everything else. I couldn't agree more, and you said that so well that I'm not even going to try to, to trump that. Really, what's going on with a lot of concerned parents out there, and I'll just speak as a concerned mom, we have had it very easy for very long. Go to church on Sunday, read our Bible when we want, share our faith when we want, and a lot of us took that for granted, including myself, and I'm really hard on myself, and I'm constantly doing a check every week. Have I shared the Word of God with enough people? Have I stood up for our country? And what Glenn Beck said just put chills down my spine. In that interview, he said, we have to return turn to law, order, and justice, or we will lose what we have. The scary thing is, like you and I have been sharing for a a long time, many years, is that our younger generations have been growing up in a common core type education system, thinking that our free republic is full of hate and that we have to get rid of our free republic for a socialist Marxist, communist look, and they have no clue what they're asking for. The problem is the masses will wake up as they're literally heading down a death camp road here by being killed for their faith or killed because they don't comply, thrown in prison if we don't take a vaccine, thrown in prison if we don't wear a mask. That is what's coming for the state of our country if we don't all get involved right now. So ask God, what am I here for, for this time? What knowledge did you give me to make a difference? And who do you want me to call or be a part of? What group, what organization to fight for the freedoms that we've taken for granted for far too long? What kind of country do we want to leave behind for our kids? And I'll be honest, Dr. Duke, this morning I woke up and I was almost in a state of uh, uh, depression, like I was I was really sad and frustrated and anxiety because I see such little time left to make a big difference. And we know in the end God wins, but I'm just urging everyone that we have to all do this together or a couple of us are going to be taken out, imprisoned, and then there'll be no one left to lead. We have to all come together and be leaders right now. That's what I'm urgently telling every single person. We all have to take part and fight for our freedoms. I want to make sure that you know about our Counterculture Mom app. Download that. And you also want to get the premium section on that Counterculture Mom app. Tina Griffin, Counterculture Mom. Thanks for your time today. 